1971, he came to Gainesville, just near here. To everywhere. Or he has sent his representative. And also, I, my Gurudev Gresh and my Shiksha Guru Gresh, I'm also coming. Yes. <laughs> that so many friends Oh, meet again after long time. Oh, now I see that from different part of America, Mukund Prabhu, what name? Mukundapati and other so many devotees have settled here. But I want to know oh, why our all Guru Parampara Acharya, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sattati Goswami, Mai Guru Dev, Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, and myself. Why I am coming in these old days? What is the purpose? Stand up, say stand up. So, Shul Gurudev has come because our hearts are weak. He is the embodiment of all compassion. And he's come primarily just to give us a chance to uh, become Krishna conscious in this lifetime. And uh, I, for one, I'm not so uh, sure about my own chances, but I guess that's why you've come to this home. <laughs> but uh, there are so many conditioned souls in this world, and uh, Srila Gurudev doesn't need to come here, but out of his intense compassion for us, he comes. And I really want to thank you for coming again to the Lachua. Mm. 
Chicharito. to give blessings. Now, it was, was it nine years ago when Guru Dave first came to Alachua? In 1999? And Someone called from Miami. Was it the German? Yeah. No, was it? Uh, no, I think it was Ekanti. Ekanti called. Radhakanti. And she said, would, would it be all right if Narayan Maharaj came and stayed at your house? <laughs> so I thought for some time, and then I said, yes. <laughs> Now, someone warned me. He said, oh, when he comes, it is like Dervasa and his hordes. <laughs> Which I found to be true. <laughs> so, that was nine years ago. You are very scary. <laughs> and I wasn't prepared to like him so much. My heart went to him like a magnet to steel. <coughs> and we were sitting together. Anurada, who was then known as Amba, and myself. And we were sitting with him. And he said, Oh, your wife has any guru? And I said, No, Srila Gurudev. She hasn't been initiated. And she's been a devotee for nine years. And he said, Oh, <laughs> then you must get her initiated immediately. How can she cook for you? How can she serve you? <laughs> and when he said that, I was so touched, because in all my years as a devotee, as a, well, a pseudo or aspiring devotee, no one had cared for me like that. No one had expressed such personal concern. So my heart went out to him, and I became his. And whatever he orders me, I have no choice but to obey, except when he says, take sannyas. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise I obey everything. So, he came in 1999, and then he came again in 2000. 2001 and 2003 was the last time. So it's been five years since we have been graced by his presence. So I, I, I don't have anything else to say. So we are very happy. I will speak loudly. So we are very, very, very happy that Srila Guru Dev has again come. Uh, it is uh, my lack of sukriti that for now, maybe more than. A year and a half, almost two years, I have not been able to see the lotus feet of my Sri Guru Dev, but in heart anyway, trying to do service, so feeling so much blessing has come from Sri Guru Dev. Actually, this year I was writing my Vyas Puja, 
And I started to say, give me your mercy. But then I realized, for so many years I've asked for mercy. That finally I'm retired from police job. Finally I can do some practice Krishna consciousness seriously. seriously. Finally some chance to travel and preach. Finally some chance to have association with so many devotees. All is Guru Dev's mercy. Now, now I think it's time to ask more what service I can do. Already so much mercy has come. <laughs> so this is excellent opportunity because now so many Vaishnav coming, uh, sort of the dust of the lotus feet of Srila Gurudev, and giving whole Sangha here a chance to serve. So it's a very, very rare thing. I think in maybe 2000 and... No, maybe 1998, Washington Lake. I can't remember which year. But I remember saying that <laughs> Mahaprabhu only comes once in a day of Brahma. And that was not so long ago, almost 500 years ago. And the rare thing that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives is only available coming in this special vichar dar of Mahaprabhu. And that person who can give it, also very rare, not easily found here and there. So that we have such a person to come only in our midst by His mercy. Not we have to go there even, He's coming here. Our fortune cannot be estimated. Oh. Not possible. So we're praying to the lotus feet of Srila Guru Dev that over this week, so much nice Harikata, certainly we'll all hear. Hopefully something will, like a spray, come in my heart and actually make some transformation. And I'm sure all of you also will be inspired and transformed. So thank you very much. <laughs> Jnana Timurandisha, Jnana Jnana Salakaya, Chakshu Militamina Tasmai Shri We're so thankful to have the association of Srila Gurudev. In actuality, Srila Gurudev has asked us... Finish. I came here. Finish. Bring <laughs> Ah, okay. Excuse me. Actually, Srila Gurudev has asked us. <laughs> yes, Srila Gurudev has asked us to explain why the pure devotee, why he has come. In actuality, the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he explained in the Ramananda Sambhat. I read this from uh, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, Srila <coughs> Prabhupada's teachings of Lord Chaitanya. And when Srila <coughs> Shila Ch Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spoke the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is that whatever condition of life that we're in, it doesn't matter because in Kali Yuga it's really rare, it's not possible for us to be able to become so purified by following so many purificatory processes. But in actuality, the essence or the actual favor of Kali Yuga is that we get the opportunity to hear from the lips of the self-realized soul. So this is why Srila Gurudev is coming. Because all conditioned souls, no matter what stage of consciousness we're in, but if we hear the glories of the Lord's name, form, quality, and pastimes from the lips of the self-realized soul, we can make advancement. Otherwise, there's no opportunity. There's no use in Srila Gurudev coming. Only by His mercy does He come to give us the opportunity to elevate ourselves. This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission, and our whole Guru Bhagavan have the same mission, following in the footsteps of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Usually when Srila Gurudev arrives somewhere, he requests local devotees to speak. So he's kindly given me an opportunity 
to explain the reason why he is coming. So many nice explanations from all the Vaishnavas. But I was thinking that Srila Gurudev, yes, he's come to give his mercy, but what, what is that mercy that he has come to give? He has come to give what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give. When Srila Gurudev first came to the Western countries, he chose that topic. Why did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu come? What specifically has he come to give? And he reviewed the first chapters of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. And he explained there that Gauranga Mahaprabhu has come to give something that has never ever been given before. That very Unnata Ujvala Raso Bhakti Shriyam pointed out by Srila Rupa Goswami. So our Srila Prabhupada, he came here to give that. But he had only a limited amount of time to give it. And the devotees were not ready yet to receive the specific instructions that Prabhupada gave in Chaitanya Charitamrita, in his purports, that all the Goswamis have given in all of their books. But some maturity was required by the devotees. So when Srila Gurudev came, he immediately began to try to give this to all the devotees. What is this Rupa Nuga Guru Varga? What are the teachings of Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami? Srila Gurudev's whole mission in this world is to give these books to all of humanity, to give these teachings to all the Vaishnavas for generations and hundreds and maybe thousands of years to come. Because only a Rupanuga, Rasik Vaishnava, who has realized these teachings, who is living within these conceptions deeply, only he can give. So Srila Gurudev mercifully was requested by our Srila Prabhupada to come to the West. He was requested to help Srila Prabhupada's disciples. Srila Gurudev took that order on his head at the time when our Prabhupada was passing from this world. And he said himself that it took him 20 years, but he said, not bad, because Prabhupada also got the order and it took him 40 years. <laughs> so, so Srila Gurudev has mercifully come on behalf of Srila Prabhupada's order to him, his request to his very dear Priya Bandhu and, and his very dear friend. So Srila Gurudev is continuing year after year, even in his old age coming, to come and give all the devotees these impressions within our hearts, so that at least someday in the future, and maybe even in a future lifetime, we can come on this path of Rupanuga Vaishnavism, which is the whole purpose that Mahaprabhu has come, to give us this connection uh, with our Guru Varga, who are all situated at the feet of Sri Rupa Manjari, serving the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika in Braja Brindavan. So Srila Gurudev is inviting us all to come from all over the world, to come to Brindavan every year for Braj Mandala Parikrama, to go to Navadvipdam for Gora Mandala Parikrama, <coughs> and now he's, he comes to the West year after year to inundate the whole world with all of these conceptions. So he's coming here. Because especially here in Alachua, there are so many uh, senior devotees who have been trying to stay on this path for so many years. And Gurudev has specific, he told this last year in San Francisco. He said, especially with the disciples of Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, I have special desire to help them because my, your Guru Maharaj has requested me. So Gurudev is here for everyone. He's here for every single jiva soul. But he's especially looking for those few Vaishnavas who are now want to have this desire to come on this path of Rupa Nuga Bhajan. And therefore, he's trying to implant those impressions in all of our hearts. So we must bow down at the Lord's feet for our beloved Oma Gyanam Timirandasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama So Srila Gurudev has ordered me also to speak a few words about why he has come here. 
he has come to this material world following in the footsteps of his Guru Parampara, our Srila Prabhupada, his Gurudev, our Param Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Pragyan, Keshav Goswami Maharaj, to, uh, as Sripad Padmanabha Maharaj said, to give what no other incarnation or acharya ever gave before, but before when, from the previous day that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, in the previous day of Brahma, so many trillions of years before. Srila Gurudev explained in Kartik time that we have two relationships with him, an external relationship and an internal relationship. The external relationship is that he is our real father, our real mo mother, our real guardian, protector, and maintainer. And internally, his relationship with us is Shakshad Haritvena Samasta Shastre Uktus Tava Bhyata Eva Sadbi Kintu Prabhuya Priya Eva Tasya Bande Guru Sri Charanaravinda Shakshad Haritva He is the manifestation of Hari himself. Who is that Hari? Brajendra Nandan Shamasundar Radha Kant Gopi Kant Radhana and he is the uh, Ashraya Vigraha of that same Hari. Hari has two parts, as Ashraya Vigraha and Vishaya Vigraha. Prajendra Nandan Shamasandar has manifest himself as the beloved of Srimati Radhika and the gopis and the son of Mother Yasoda. And that same Krishna has manifested in the form of Sri Guru. The last time that I saw Gurudev here in Alachua, at the end of the class, I raised my hand and asked a question that some people say that our conception that the Guru is omniscient, that's Mayavadi conception. But what is the real thing? Does Guru know as much as Paramatma? So Gurudev replied, what to speak of Paramatma? Even Guru knows more than Krishna, because Krishna is so busy playing with his cows, coward boys, and coward girls, that he uh, can't hear us wailing. So he, he takes a shape of his um, mercy. His mercy takes a form, and that form is Sri Guru. And Sri Guru comes here in the blazing fire of material existence, to put it out. So Gurudev is here for that. He's Ashraya Vigraha. And then, Shakshad Hari Tvena Samasta Shastri Uptus Tatava Vyata Eva Sadbi Kintu Prabhuya Priya Eva Tasya. As Sripad Padmanabha Maharaj mentioned, he, along with all the other Pransakis, are engaged in Srimati Radhika's service as her intimate, who Radharani considers non-different from her own body, who, even where Lalita and Vishaka hesitate to enter, those manjaris headed by Rupa Manjari and followed by our Srila Gurudev enter there for the most intimate services. So he has come to bring us uh, wilted flowers, seeds, buds, and make us full blossoming flowers so that he can offer us to the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna, where we can serve him and our Srila Prabhupada and all of our Guru Prampara, headed by Sri Rupa Goswami in the form of Sri Rupa Manjari there. discuss about six, six or seven days. I want that you should make a program for morning at 10 and other.
Bhakti. Who will speak? Oh, here are so many sannyasis, preachers, and others also. So they should have time to speak something. As in Srimad Bhagavatam, in Chaitanya Chaitamritam, in Gita, Upanishad, in Vedas, it has been told that all the living entity want happiness. Never he wants to suffer. For this, for whole life they try to have so much happiness and to avoid suffering. But even they cannot. Especially they cannot avoid from old days, from day. And in this way, endless pain of endless birth and days, inside click order they are going. Their desire never fulfilled. But in who Am I or who are you? This is the question. Who wants to be happy? For general persons, they think, I am body. Dehe atma buddhi. I am body. I am doer. I am doing everything. But really, in Shastri it has been told that this body is nothing but a bag of his tool, urine, blood and so many things. You <coughs> all should know. If you will open, you will see only that. <laughs> then who am I? Chaitanya hmm? Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Srila Sanatana Goswami asked to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Who am I? Then he told, Jivera Sarupaya Nitya Krishna Das. The eternal servant of Krishna. We soul. And you should know that as Krishna had transcendental form, all qualities are in him, very beautiful form. Jeev also, soul size, also same thing, like same thing. Very beautiful form, all the quality to serve for Radha, Krishna and others. But now it has been covered by Maya. Why Maya covered? Jeev Ichetan. Maya is jad. But even jad maya, how? Kafas. Oh. Because jeev is anu. What am? Minute. Huh? Minute. 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 Very minute. And by the wish of Krishna, that jada maya of oh, kafas. By one, Subtle body and this growth body. And then takes it, I am doer. So he is now in rotation. You know that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went everywhere in India. By food, not by any car or anything, no airplane, nothing. He went in the west of India, Dwarka up to in north, so many places, in south, southern India, east Jagannath Puri and all others. Why? There 
got no other reason. That I should tell them to preach them. You want happiness, but you cannot. This is not the process that you are adopting. And you should know that you are not this body. But in this only body, you can realize the relation between soul and super soul, Krishna. And then you can do bhajan. And then by bhajan, you can realize Him. Not only realize. You can reach up to Prem. But what kind of Prem? Very secret. And that is, best of all, is Raga Nuga Marga. The process which Rupa Goswami himself adopted. Rupa Goswami has written Bhakti Goswami in Sindhu and Ujvalinvani also. Bhakti Goswami is Sindhu for general and Ujvalinvani only for higher classes of devotees. Those who only want to enter in Madhuras, not for them. But in Madhuras also, there is something secret, very secret. What secret? Radha Darsham, in Manjari mood, very, very secret. So, last and highest aim and object of Jeev. So, is Radha Dasya. So, as he told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he went everywhere. Those were general person knowing nothing about anything. For them, you are not this body. You are so and you are eternal servant of Supreme Lord Krishna. And those who are all more superior from there, oh, you should do bhakti, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Sravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padusivanam, Archanam, Bandhanam, Darsham, Sakham, Atmanivedan, for those who were bhakta. And more than Oh, you are an inhabitant of Raja and you serve Radha. Your duty is to serve Radha Krishna. <coughs> and them, them, them who were very high class of devotees, they were not satisfied by that for them. In the guidance of Rup Manjari, to serve Radhika. And for this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went everywhere. So our Guru Park, after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, said of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Viswanacha Rupa Goswami, and after that Viswanacha Kavarti Thakur, after that Bhakti Vinod Thakur. I think this is the mercy of Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, that you are lucky to have all these things. He inspired Srila Prabhupada, his disciple and his son, and who sent Swamiji only for this. But there, those who were not qualified, oh, for them, no. For them, what I told in general. Or bhakti saranam ketanam. But this is our aim and object of the life. Because you are all senior Vaishnava. You should know that this is very rare in the world. What world in India also, in Gauriya Vaishnava also this is very rare. 
They don't know all these things. So you are lucky to hear all these things. I want to establish you all in these states. Gaur Prama. Gurudev, can you tell us the theme? Oh, no, 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 Oh, yes. What will you speak about? Yes. Hey, Bob. Yes. Rajanath, yes. Bob. Yes. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.